So I thought I'd do a nice little clip of what I wore to Algeria. Um, I'm also a sort of war in an Islamic country. Um, so something really modest. But also it's really stylish as well, like still bringing those colours in. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you what I took along with me. And then I'll also show you some like accessories and shoes I bought that have nothing to do with that as well. It's just some things that I thought would add a bit of colour and touch to my outfits. Um, so the first item I have is this Izumiyaki pleated top. And I found this as a very last minute item, but I really like it because it's so comfortable. It's really thin. It is made from polyester, but it's really comfortable. And it sits three quarter length out on the arms. And it's got a very like slouchy, oversized look to it. Um, and it just really adds the colour um, to your outfit, so it's great. And then along with that, I've got these Studio Nicholson trousers. Um, Studio Nicholson is inspired by Japanese architecture, so they are sort of balloon shaped, parachute shaped, um, really comfortable. And we've got these pleats along the front. They fit me quite long, so for the moment, I've just been rolling them up in the waist and having a top cover it up. Um, but eventually I will start to hem them up a little bit so they're not as long. Um, and then lastly I've got these shoes on and these my grandmother actually gave me. Um, they're just ones that you wear around the house but they're these like jelly shoes that I'm really in at the moment. And um, there's a bunch of different colours. I'm trying to get a hold of a few other ones before I get back home. There's like good presents to give actually but they're just like the best because I'd actually wear them outside as well. I mean, here I'd probably be taken as like a little bit silly for taking them out outside, but in London I know I get away with it. So, so next I have this skirt. So this skirt is from Miss 60 and it's this corduroy slit skirt. Uh, almost patchwork as well. I think it might have been upcycled or maybe an upcycling project. Um, but when I bought it, it was washed out and it still is. Um, and it's just really lovely because it has this worn effect to it and yet it's actually worn it's not just like diesel making a garment and then damaging it to have that effect so this is a really lovely piece of mine and it fits really nicely it's long sort of in between mid and max skirt um it fits really nicely because it's very versatile and i've just loved it since i've had it in my wardrobe i've just been whacking it on and just throwing like a really plain top that I have on. And I'll show you later, actually I've got a top that works really well with this. And um, you could even like mix it up. This kind of gives me mini chocolate vibes. Um, I don't know if I like that, but it's fun. It's actually quite fun. Um, so that's one of the pieces. Next piece is this Zara long dress. Um, and it's sort of circular shaped along the bottom, which is really lovely because I like to wear this styled because I want to cover my arms, cover my chest, so I'll wear this. I can have the bottom of my leg showing, but I'll wear this with like a shirt on top or a nice t-shirt, so it fits really lovely and not too thick because luckily this isn't like short sleeves um, and that, you know, wearing two short sleeve tops on top of each other would be too much, so it's a good thing it's like tank top styled along the top and then covered along the bottom. Uh, I can even just like whack it on on the bottom and just like tuck this bit inside and just think a bit more creatively. So have it like that rather than having to put it on top of my chest. So this is a very nice piece because it's good for layering. So always remember if in doubt get loads of layers because then you can style it and have fun with it. So yeah. Now I feel like I've given this piece a lot of glory and a lot of shine and a lot of credit but it has to come out. I did take this Izumiyaki skirt with me because it's just so fun and bouncy and I like to wear it because it's modest. It's not too short but it's not too long um, and then you can layer it up so I like to wear it with this top especially when I'm on the aeroplane and it's really hot and I want to wear something really thin. This is the perfect outfit I did for me actually going to Algeria because it was just really thin and though it's not very breathable 
and um, it is a synthetic fiber, both of them, because they're polyester made. Um, it's okay because where there's a hot country, there's aircon, and I've been doing it okay, so this is good. Great piece, must have. So now moving on to tops. So this is a nice polka dot jumper I bought the other day from eBay actually, and it fits really nicely. Also has that bouncy feel to it, but it is an easy yucky. And if you are wearing like a short sleeve top, or like a spaghetti top or something that's a bit too showy showy um this is great because you can wear it with a you just wear it on top you just wear it on top and it fits really nicely and you can have it buttoned along the top and then have the rest of it exposed so you can show that top off another lovely piece i took with me is just this cami top and it's from a brand called ying shang and it has these geometric shapes really lovely a little bit more exposed on the shoulder and on the chest so that cardigan would go really nicely with it because it is really fun i don't want to just leave it at home but i've also got to be respectful so this is a piece that i would definitely take on on holiday um and lay it, lay it well so yeah this top i've had in my wardrobe for a while now and i had it stored away for quite some time and it's only until recently that i took it out and it's from this brand called French Collection, as you know, um, and it's got these pinstripes and it really plays around the placement. So along the yoke on the back, it's going across and then going towards the down, it's going also downwards. Um, so it's really fun. And then it has these embroidered designs on the front of it. So it's really nice. And it covers the arms and though it might be hot you can undo the cuffs and have it higher up um, and have the option whether it's hot or cold maybe in the evening when it cools down um, to have them also down as well so it's just really great and versatile really because you can play around with it and you can also like style it i know these like youtubers or like instagrammers um, Create these fun ways of like styling as tops as opposed to a shirt so you can like have it wrapped around the waist and be really free to wear it so think about how you can mess around with that as well so another lovely piece then you've got this cow neck top which is really fun it's ruched along the bottom and it's got the arms exposed which is something to think about um, but it fits really nice because it's very baggy and it covers most of the front of the top um, so it's really fun and then you can start it with nice belts so you can think about that accessories what sort of earrings i wear with it maybe like silver um so yeah and so maybe thinking about the arms you could wear like a small little cardigan um it really depends where you are actually because some places you are allowed to have your arm showing um, but most places it's more respectful to cover it up so that's a nice piece to have as a layer the so last top you have is this top from Uniqlo and it's just one basic I think it's a thermal top actually very thick but really nice material um, this is really comfortable actually um, it's also got a medium so it fits more um loosely but also not too baggy so this is really lovely because you can style that with any of those bottoms i've shown you so with that miss 60 brown corduroy skirt i like to style that because it's basic and it sort of plays around with like balancing it from being really exciting on the bottom half but then more basic and minimal on the top half so that's a really nice top to have so last few bits um for the holiday are birkenstocks so birkenstocks are really great um, because they are really comfortable and it's really good walking shoes. Um, yeah, these are just the classic black ones. Um, so as well as these gel shoes, I've been wearing those, um, and I've been really enjoying that. So they're always great to carry basic, like Primark sandals. Um, if in doubt, when you're at beach, great to carry these on. Really vibrant and fun. Loving those. Now 
are more comfortable. I've got these New Balance 270 shoes. These are really good, like walking shoes. Um, and yeah, I hadn't worn these for a while, so it took me a minute to like get back into them um, and to liking them as well. But they're just really great. Not really fashionable, more just like practical and safe um, for your feet. So really good. Now I brought along this net fishing bag. It's originally from M&S, um, but this is a really good beach bag to carry all the essentials. Um, so I've just been putting all my bits and bobs in there. Really good for shopping as well. I'll just put all your bits in there. It's really cute as well. Like nice pastel shade. Sort of clashes with this top, but it's really fun. Now my stepsister got this from Japan for me, and it's this really fun like shrinks bag and when you fill it up it like gets really big um but it's really fun because it's sort of, sort of a bit deceiving so you put it on and it looks really impractical and small and then you fit those things in and you're like wow it's really great really, I, I could just imagine this as a top as well i'd so wear that as like a little tank top um this is really fun so my favorite piece and then you have this last piece which is this brown leather bag and this is really fun because it fits quite a lot in it surprisingly i've got my purse in it at the moment usually i have like random bits in there so this is really fun to play around with and it goes with everything so you can't go wrong um the yeah, outfit from h&m for those of you wondering and i actually did a poll because i saw another one that was really nice and i couldn't decide between the two so everyone ends up choosing this one i like it this is a sign um but yeah those are overall some bits that i carry around with me that are also really great and appropriate really good pieces for layering as well um we do have some nice small tops that you're thinking about how am i going to wear it how will it style it just think about like small thin cardigans or delicate pieces i can just throw on top so yeah Thank mm -hmm. you.